guys welcome back to my youtube channel your girl jessica omo and i'm here with another video so today's video we'll be talking about websites and applications you should download or you need on your phone or that you need to get find private owned accommodations here in the uk so um this video i'm doing it basically because i've had comments on my youtube videos and as well dms on my instagram regarding these types of accommodations for people coming here to work or people done with their post um their studies and they're applying for their post study visa and all of that so yeah i'm going to drop over here um website apps that you should check out in order to look for accommodation so if you're moving here to the uk with your family um obviously you're not going to be looking for a student accommodation you're going to be looking for um a private own accommodation so after this um after talking right now i'm going to show you on how you can search for your accommodations using the websites i'll be dropping over here so yeah guys um that aside before we move to how you can search for your accommodation i'm going to be talking about documents you need in order to get a private own accommodation i think i've mentioned that in my previous video which will be dropped in the link below or if um, it will be dropped up here um where i talked about types of accommodations what you need to know um yeah so documents you need if you're a professional when i mean you're a professional you're coming to uk to work or uh you're a student and uh, yeah you're, you're coming to uk to work or you're coming into the uk with your family members yeah i'll give you all the details you need to do all the details you need to know so for let's go for professional let's start with professional first then i'll move to other categories of persons so first things first the documents you need you need um a photo id that's a valid passport or a driver's license even your even if you're coming from abroad you can show your um driver's license from your home country or where, or where you're coming from or if you've been in the uk for a while or you've been here for a long time you can show your uh, driver's license your utility bill from your where you were staying before previously in the uk that's for my uk people that are professionals yeah you have to show your utility bill then for people that are coming from abroad you need to show a your uk visa a copy of your uk visa like need to submit that a copy of your uk visa yeah and some landlords and agencies they ask for uh, a copy of your employment letter and some ask for six months um copy of your pay slips of where you've been working basically they're asking this like are you are you financially stable to afford this accommodation that you want to live in so that's why they ask for that information and as well um, a letter from your employee and uh, employer rather sorry a letter from your employer and also they also ask for references from your a reference letter from either a colleague or from your employer and yeah if you're a student what you need is a school letter or school letter id card a guarantor and copy of your uk visa sometimes some landlords ask for your uk visa but it's not necessary when you already have your school letter and your id card and your guarantor you need a guarantor because as a student you're working part-time so 
mostly the money you're going to be making is not sometimes not going to be able to afford the type of accommodation you're going for or looking into and sometimes you also ask for your guarantor to know in case there's a default your guarantor will be the one to um he has to fulfill that yeah that's it and so let's go straight to how to search for your accommodations using the websites which i've dropped here again so that everyone can see and know what i'm talking about yes guys so first of all you're going to open your browser and you're going to search for right move uk then you're going to click on that the you're going to see obviously yes yeah, seen here but i'm going to drop a link below the video for this particular west website so we search for coventry and we can see a list of different areas in Coventry. So you're going to pick based on your own specification. So I'm going to pick city center because like it's a common place here in Coventry. So uh, we're going to check. I'm going to um, filter based on my price. That's the PCM literally means per calendar month and my maximum per calendar month. So these are the accommodations between my budget that I've selected. You can select based on how you want your budget to be. So this is my own selection. And here we are. This is a studio apartment, which is for £499 per calendar month, which is very fair. And I suppose that accommodation is going to be all bills included. You can reduce this to 450 pounds, which I did because of so many people obviously want affordable accommodation. So I did that so that you could view that as well. And I, I advise that everyone goes to check these places physically. Don't just do it online. Do this physically. I'm trying to check out this accommodation um, to see if it's a house, uh, is a shared um accommodation if at all is shared i want to know if it's in suits and all of that you can also filter um on this website to check if it's um to filter based on in suits shared house you can literally even rent a house as well a three bedroom flat five bedroom flat as well maybe with your friend or your family most people that are coming in with your family so these are details about the accommodation which i'm showing you here in this video yeah and that's all guys so the next um, website we'll be checking will be spare room it also has an application but i'll be using the website for this video so we're going to search for spare room uk then we're going to click on spare room I'm going to drop all the descriptions, all the links in the description box below. So yeah, we're here and we're going to search for our postcodes. So based on my own search findings, I'm going to be searching in Coventry. If you are in London, you can search for in London. If you're in, um, Birmingham, you're in Manchester. <clears throat> you can search based on your own location. So CV1, why I'm clicking on CV1 is because that is this uh, postcode where the university is located. So I'm going to um, do filter down my monthly prices. I'm going to, you can see, this is why I love this website. It is very detailed. You get to pick and select based on what you're finding and i'm going to show you as we go on in this video how everything is very easy to do on this website so yeah what kind of property type are you looking for do you want in suits do you want a double room obviously 
who doesn't want a double room but if you're going according to your budget if you want to go, go for a single room that's fine and uh, you don't mind if it's male females couples you choose all of that for yourself yeah very good website but i advise that you always go to view these properties before you pay any cost for the accommodation yes guys so guys the next website to be checking on will be zoopla so we're going to search for zoopla uk on google then we're going to click on that yeah accept the cookies so search area i'm going to be searching for cv1 so you're going to see option where it shows to rent for sale so if you want to buy a house that's different from renting a house so we're going to filter based on our minimum budget and our maximum budget everything is very easy to do on the website which is what i really really like about all these websites here but the only disadvantage is that we don't know if they're scammers some of these people can be scammers so it's advisable you always view this property before you pay any holding deposit or whatever deposit at all so these are the accommodations i have filtered based on my own preference and i can see an accommodation for 325 pounds which is extremely cheap so we're going to look up on that accommodation to know what its features are and as well i advise like i said always go to view these properties I, I think i saw one up there for 200 and something pounds yeah so i'm going to filter again um i'm going to add keywords going to add in suits because obviously personally i'll be looking for an in suit room based on my own budget but if i want to go for everything on my own kitchen room toilet everything together i'll be going for a studio i explained that vividly in my last video which i'm going to be dropping in the description box below so this is based on my filter what i want what i'm looking for in an accommodation so these are pictures of what that accommodation looks like it's advisable to view physically as well and yeah so guys the next website we'll be searching on will be on the market.com But guess what guys i'm still going to be dropping the link in the description box so you don't need to stress yourself you're just going to copy my link from my description box and do your findings on their website so here we are so like we've been doing on the other previous websites it's exactly the same thing we're going to do here as well yeah we're just going to click on rent and we're going to search for our um, location where we want to buy where we want to rent the property which will be coventry west midlands or if you're in london you pick london or you're in manchester or wherever which whatever part of the uk you are so uh, we're going to search that do that it's going to show us apartment you can still see the filter um selection box below with, above which we're going to click on and break down all price range radius bedrooms and the property type based on your preference which you're going to do which is easy which is easy and it has already been shown to you all yes guys um do you want to see shared accommodation or do you want to stay there for a long do you want to stay there alone um 
how long do you want to stay in the property is it short let which is between um two weeks to three months um all that yeah very easy website to use yeah guys so the last website we'll be searching on will be mintula.co.uk Then we're going to um i'm not going to make you go through all this stress because i'm going to drop the link of this website in the description box so here we are we're going to search okay where are we looking for is it bristol no me i'm looking for accommodations in coventry coventry united kingdom yes so coventry we're going to um click on to rent and we're going to reduce um the price and these are all the filters you need to do in order to search for the accommodation based on your preference which i did and i'm going to click on show me properties and you're going to see properties yes and you're seeing one bedroom flat rent for that cost you could filter more which is up below this video as you can see boldly written there filters and search for accommodation based on your preference and that is all guys okay guys yes guys thank you for watching my youtube video make sure you subscribe you like and you watch other of my videos um you ref um, refer your friends to watch my youtube videos as well thank you guys bye guys